Well, welcome to the kennels of trainer Kevin Hutton and, of course, his partner Donna. We're here today to catch up about many, many dogs, uh, all sorts of competitions and lots going on here. Plenty of dogs to follow for the year as well. This is the main hub of the kennel, actually, the sort of communal area, uh, if you like, where a lot of the action happens. You can see dinner's nearly good to go there. We've got all the duvets that the dogs sleep on in the washing machine, bone time in these boxes and the superstar that is Forrest Natalie taking uh, a bit of a chill on the sofa. And we always have to feature Batman. There's, there's, there's the main two people, but we're talking dogs here, and Batman gave me a very nice welcome when I arrived today. So, yeah, the kennel is just uh, through there behind the white door. But as I said, this is the main sort of hub of the kennel. It's very cold today, miserable weather, so we're going to keep the dogs indoors. And uh, lots to catch up on. Stay with us, and uh, we'll bring you lots and lots of dogs coming up. Well, Kevin's putting up a couple of dogs for us to follow for the year here. Uh, this is Romeo Cody, so another day firmager dog. And this is Mystical Messy, the black dog here. We'll talk about them individually. First of all, uh, this dog, Romeo Cody. I mean, like we said, everything that's uh, a Romeo seems to turn into something very special. But he's actually got a good card in Ireland already. He's a very good card, yeah. He's, um, he reached the final of the National Puppy Stake in Shelbourne um, just before he came over to us. Um, got some lovely runs around Shelbourne and everything. So... Um, yeah, he looks another really nice addition to the to the kennel, and uh, as you can see, he's uh, full of mischief and uh, just a really lovely character, lovely, lovely dog. Yeah. Hopes in terms of trip and traps, what should we be looking out for? Um, well, we're going to take him to one more for the puppy derby. Um, that that would be his number one aim. Um, he's he's not been in too long, so he's only just getting his paperwork done. Um, but I would hope to have him up to one more within the next week or two um, and start his preparation into um, into the puppy derby. But um, obviously, all the British bred races would be. A big target for him, produce stakes and, and possibly Derby as well. So, um, yeah, there's, there's lots to aim for. He's a, a, another lovely pup. Oh, what an absolute sweetheart. It's breaking my heart. <laughs> this is a mystical Messi, uh, who's had less racing experience, but does have one run in Ireland and uh, an impressive one. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's, um, he's only had the one race in Novice Company in, in Limerick, um, <laughs> but he won, won it really impressively, um, nine or ten lengths in 28.53, I think it was. Um, looks like a nice staying type dog in, in the making. Mm. Um, so, again, some more long-term owners of ours, the, the Westwell Racing Club, um, decided to purchase him, and, um, you know, we, we should have a lot of fun with him, I think. Oh, two lovely dogs. There we go. Once to follow. Fingers crossed. They're really nice kind of dogs here at Kevin Hutton's at the moment. We've got a dog and a bitch, and they're kenneled together. This is uh, Droopy's Creative, the bitch, and the brindle boy is uh, Coppice Elmo. Uh, all lovely dogs, I keep saying it about all of them. I'll shut up on, on that uh, track, but let's talk about her first of all. She's a uh, two out of two for you. Can't ask for much more than that. No, she's been really impressive. Um, she come really highly recommended from, from Michael Dunphy. Um, so myself and Tony Greeley decided to buy her. And uh, she's done everything right. She won a tough, tough A2 on debut, which is, you know, which is hard to do for novices. Um, she was really impressive working her way through the field. Um, and the following week, she went straight into maiden open class and, and won that as well. So I um, don't think Oxford is her ideal track. She looks like she wants probably 500 metres plus already. But um, just a really classy lady with, with plenty of scope as well. Excellent. And Coppice Elmo, what a beautiful dog. Uh, he is going to be aimed ultimately at the Mom or Puppy Derby? Yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah, he's, um, he's out of a bitch called Boomtown, Boom Time, which has thrown numerous top class animals. Um, so he'd be the next litter on from Latoro um, of, of Patrick. So um, a, a really well bred pup. Um, bought him from a decent trial in, in Cork. Um, and he made his debut last week in Oxford, straight, straight into maiden open race. Um, we, we ran into a really good one of Matty Dartnell's on the night, but um, this fella showed a really good attitude um, to come from pretty much fifth to, to third, I think, in the end. Showed good pace, two to three. Um, so the plan is for a few more maiden events at, um, at Oxford or puppy events, and then, then on to Montmore, all being well. But um, again, he's a, he's a pup with a bright future and, and a lot of improvement to come. I could literally have stayed here all day at your kennels, uh, pointing out dogs to follow for the viewers at home. How on earth do you know which are like, you know, the potential superstars? I mean, you've mentioned, you know, Latore next litter, and the ones that are going to be good open races for you. Uh, I think you know pretty easy, to be honest. The, the the superstars, you know, we probably only train sort of three or four of them in in all the years, mm -hmm. so they're they're very difficult to get, and they they stand out a mile. Um, but I think we've got two really really top class. Um, pups at the moment and but a lot of nice young dogs that, that could um 
you know, that could certainly win Cat ones and and have a really good career. So um, it's 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 a lot of fun at the moment. We've got a nice kennel of young dogs, and um, yeah, hopefully the future is is bright for them. You better name those two. Uh, well, the two, the, the, the ones that stand out for me are the Romeo Atomic and um, the Rioja Joey dog. I think they look a little bit special, them too. Um, but I say we've got uh, a lot of young pups um, that were bought to be nice, so hopefully that, that works out and, and we have a lot of fun with them. But um, it's, it's just nice to have a good kennel of young dogs, um, and I say it's, uh, it's worth getting up in the morning for. Yeah, you really have. Very impressive today. Uh, but there you go, two more dogs to follow from Hutton's Kennel. This is uh, mystical Megan, and Donna's put this one up, so uh, we're going to find out why. She's actually uh, got a, a very nice relation, a nice sister. Yes, yeah, she's um, a litter comrade to Magical Mary, um, which is Pat Gaffor's, um bitch in Ireland that won on the Winter Festival in Shelbourne Park. Very, very fast bitch. And um, so full, full litter sister. Um, and Mike and George Burton picked her up off Greyhound Data for quite a nice little price, actually, but... Um, she was predominantly bought as a brood bitch um, because of the breeding lines, but um, actually she can run a bit as well, so she's been a really nice surprise. But she's had a little bit of a, a stuttered start, start to her career. Um, she unfortunately picked up a, a wrist injury in one of her um, trials at Toaster when she first came over. So she was off for ages, and then we finally got her going. She won her first race, and then she came in season. <laughs> so she was off the, on the sidelines again for another sort of four months, and we just got her going again. So, um, yeah, she's an exciting bitch for me because she's got some nice early, lovely back straight pace, and she stays. So she's a proper all-rounder, but she's just got... An absolutely gorgeous temperament. If you had a dog kennel full of dogs like her, his job would be really, really easy. So, um, yeah, she's an absolutely lovely girl, she is. So, so where are we looking at her racing? What sort of, uh, you know, do you think she'll, she's going to be a good open racer? Yeah, she is an open racer, yeah, definitely. Um, she ran at um, Central Park Sunday, but unfortunately she got caught up in some trouble, which our other rich caused in the race, and she only got beat um, by about a length and a half. So I think if she'd have got the... Uh, got around at that first bend, she would have won, but obviously that <laughs> you could say that about many races. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she she'll be the type to pick up races here, there, and everywhere. She'll be the, she's very um, as say she can she can do anything. Very ambidextrous, as they <laughs> say. <laughs> ah, I can tell you really like her. Exciting yeah, one, uh, mystical Megan. This one is uh, another dog to follow from the Hutton Camp. Mm -hmm. Well, this is an unraced bitch you won't have heard of, I suspect, called Zaya. You can see she's very young, very excitable. How did she end up in your kennel, Kev? Um, I bought uh, two of the litter at uh, six months old from Mark Lowther. Um, the, the bitch there out of was a bitch called Tibet, and she was second in the Irish Oaks to Forest Natalie, so always fancied getting hold of a pup or two if, if we could. Um, and Mark rang to say there were some available, so we bought a pair, fetched them over at six months old, and, and took a chance, really. Love it. And racing name is Zaya. Uh, Donna, you're responsible for the name, and uh, I, I, like, I love it. I love that name. Yeah, like Kevin said, she's out of a bitch called Tibet, who was a fantastic bitch over here and then in, in Ireland as well, second to Natalie. And I wanted to kind of draw back to that, so I looked up some Tibetan names, and Zaya means woman of power, which I kind of liked, <laughs> and it, it was something different as well, which is nice. So when you're naming as many dogs as we are, it can be yeah. quite tricky, so yeah. I can imagine. She's only little, actually, but she is a woman of power. Why have you put her up as one to follow? Why do you think she's going to be special? Even at school, in, David Prue's kept saying, I really like this bitch, there's something a bit special about her, and um, initial trials suggest that she, she could go far. She's got some real pace and got a lot to learn, but, um, yeah, all the, the hallmarks of a good bitch are all there. So. She's just a baby as well. Do you agree? Do you think she's uh, one to watch for this year? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. She, she's, uh, she's very lightly schooled. Um, we've only given her, I think, three trials in Oxford, um, but last week she, she won a, a mixed trial in 2731, which is a... A remarkable run, really, for, for such a novice. Um, so, yeah, she does look a bit special, this girl. Fingers crossed. This is all too boring for her. She's ready to go again. Uh, Zaya, woman of power. There you go. Keep an eye on this one.